And we take you tonight to Atlantic City where the waves are churning. Officials warning of beach erosion and more flooding tomorrow. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Sheba Russell. This is all the result of a system churning offshore combined with what remains of Ian. And now many shore towns are preparing for high tide tomorrow. Ellen Koloje has spent some time tonight in Atlantic City and has more on the conditions there. Ellen? Well, Sheba, things are not that bad right now. It's windy, but the rain has stopped. When we first got here about 5 o'clock, some of the roads were closed because of flooding. But then, as I said, the rain stopped and the water actually receded. But that does not mean this town is in the clear and they are bracing for more. It creates more damage than probably anything else in nature. So one just has to really be careful and heed the warnings. Definitely not our first rodeo. But, you know, sometimes when people think that what with the word hurricane is not in front of it, but we're used to hurricane like conditions with our nor'easters and everything. So we're prepared. They tried to be prepared and get ahead of the storm here in Atlantic City, and that's why officials started warning residents over the weekend that the heavy rain, strong winds and coastal flooding was coming and that everyone would need to get ready. We had some rescues, you know, some cars flooded. Um, so we just told people to take the storm seriously. But despite living in a shore town, you still see people ignoring the warnings and trying to outsmart Mother Nature, but they usually lose. I, I learned my lesson, I think it was Hurricane Irma. I, I lost one of my vehicles in, in Hurricane uh, Irma, and I, I learned that lesson. When you see high water going the other direction, it's not worth it, right? Unless you have a vehicle specifically designed for that type of purpose. In North Wildwood, the relentless rain has already caused flooding there as well. And the mayor is very concerned about losing at least 20 feet of the dunes since yesterday. Dunes that protect the precious beach. Just the waves, the, the power of the waves coming in here, the height of the water coming in. Um, you know, once it gets, once, once the waves are hitting the dune system, you've, you've kind of lost. And all up and down the Jersey Shore, they are bracing for the worst. High tide is expected about 3.30 tomorrow morning, so everyone is bracing for more rain, more wind, and they are, they are saying that they are prepared, especially here in Atlantic City. The mayor says they are ready and that he is hoping that everyone listens to the warnings and is ready, and he just wants everyone to be safe. We're live in Atlantic City. Ellen Koloje, Fox 29 News. Prepared as best as they can be. Ellen, thank you. And now Kathy joins us.